I am waking up in a very, very nice house with a perfectly trimmed green backyard. And uh, I walk outside and I go and I take my, my shoes and my socks off and I just stand completely barefoot on the grass. And uh, as I am walking over, the grass is kind of talking to me like, oh, here he is. He's back again. He's here to do his morning whatever and uh, I start just moving my body on the grass I think that I call this yoga um, but it's it's not really any yoga moves that I've ever heard of before and a lot of it involves me leaping up into the air um, like more than any human being actually could like I leap so high I can see over the fence and uh, while I'm doing that my friend from elementary school is standing right by me as I'm hopping up and down super high and he's just talking to me and I just say you know I'm sorry I'm sorry about the way things progressed with us and he says uh, you know you made a lot of mistakes man and they they hurt me and I was like I know it's like but I think that given the right time um, and the right place you know we could have been much better friends than we ended up being. I say, I agree. I agree. And, uh, just hearing him say this is really relieving to me. Um, just feels like, you know, I'd waited a long time just to hear those words from him. Uh, like, actually directly from his mouth. Um, and, uh, sort of alleviates a lot of guilt. And, uh, as I feel that guilt alleviated, I'm getting a little bit higher and higher up into the sky. Every time I come back down, I say, you know, uh, I might be leaving this planet soon. And he says, well, I'll be, I'll be pretty sad if you do, but if that's what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. And uh, I'm not sure if he totally grasps what I mean when I say that. I mean, I keep jumping so high that... I might actually leave the Earth's atmosphere, and uh, pretty soon I start getting that dream falling sensation, which is really, really unpleasant, uh, where it's, you know, you feel your whole stomach going up into your throat, and um, you're just praying. You, It's where you, you kind of realize that it's a dream, and you kind of want it to be over, but at the same time, I don't want it to be over, because, I don't know, I want to keep talking to this guy, so... I do my best to land. Um, I kind of stumble when I get to the grass, but, you know, I get back down and I stand back up and the grass is talking to me again saying, oh, he stopped, he stopped, his routine's over, he stopped doing it, he stopped doing it. And uh, I look over and my friend is not there anymore.